What's up guys, Lou here back with another unboxing video and on my left hand side is some mysterious looking foam. But before we get into that, I do wanna give a shout out to Upwave who recently had me on their channel doing a special segment called What's In My Fridge and it's pretty much exactly how it sounds. I give you guys a tour of the different items, food items, beverages, etc., that exist in my fridge. So if you're interested in checking that out, please go ahead and follow the link down in the description. Show them some unbox therapy love leave a comment leave a thumbs up anyways so today's video is about something special this came to me from a company I think a new company called mass drop and this is called the dark voice now before we get inside the package I want to give a little bit more information on the place it came from so it came from this place called mass drop and they are a group buying type of website where individuals can get behind a particular product and get a lower price if they can get enough people to commit to purchasing it. So it's a way of getting expensive, high quality stuff at a lower price than you would usually get by using the purchasing power of a larger group. So if you're interested in checking out what they've got, I will link them down in the description as well. They sent this out to me to take a closer look and show you guys some of the cool stuff that you can find on Mass Drop. So this is called the Dark Voice. And besides <laughs> you know, that little bit of text on the front, you probably can't read anything else, or maybe this down here, unless you speak Chinese, because this thing is completely in Chinese, the manual. So we're not gonna get much information from there. Actually, you can see the model name in there, uh, 336SE. That's the model of this device that's in front of us, which as I said before, goes by the name of Dark Voice. Great name, by the way. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove some foam here and give you guys a better look at what's inside the package. There's some stuff in there, but I'll put that to the side for a moment. This is the Dark Voice, and it is a headphone amplifier for you know heavy duty audiophile type listeners that wanna get more out of their headphones, or maybe you've got a very special pair of headphones that needs a lot of power to drive them, then you might be looking at a headphone amplifier as well. Also, individuals who are looking for a warmer sound than is currently available on digital music, uh, amplifiers like this are really popular for bringing back some of that warmth that individuals used to get on analog audio. Again, this is a subjective thing. It's not like there's one solution that's better than another. Uh, this is just for individuals who are looking for a particular sound and in many listening scenarios, this can improve the performance of your headphones. Wow, is this thing heavy. <laughs> I don't know how much this actually weighs, but my goodness, one of the heavier items I've ever featured here on Unbox Therapy. So a solid construction here. These locations here, I believe, are for the actual tubes, which are stored over there in the styrofoam for now. Uh, if you've never seen a tube amplifier before, it looks pretty crazy, mad scientist type design. You will actually have these giant bulb looking tubes that stick out here. Uh, I'll install those in a moment. Hopefully I know what I'm doing. I am new to this as well, just like you guys. So bear with me. Okay, so on the back of the device here, you can see your audio inputs and outputs, left channel input, right channel input left channel output, right channel output, and there is, of course, a port for your power cable. You can also see the model name up here, 336SE. On the front is where you're going to be able to control this amplifier. So you have your headphone output. As you can see, it is a quarter inch output for high-end headphones, but if you've got uh, you know, a set of headphones with a mini jack connector, you can get an adapter for that. You have your volume knob here, which is very, very solid feeling once again, and then your on-off switch. So also included in the package here, we have our power cable, pretty self-explanatory. We've also got our tube. That's crazy. Okay, let's open this up and see about installing this. Now, I was reading in some of the forums online that you can actually replace these with different tubes if you're looking for a different sound. You can actually really change the attributes of a tube amplifier just by swapping out this tube for a different one. And of course, eventually, if you need to change it for any other reason, it's nice to know that it's interchangeable. So I believe there's two in here. So there's a small one and a big one. Yeah, there we go. There's the other one. So. Let's go ahead and get this in here. There we go. I'm just gonna try and be gentle with it. It is glass after all. So there, it's in. 
So now that you guys have taken a closer look at this Dark Voice headphone amplifier, I'm gonna plug it in, set it up, and give it a listen, and you guys will be able to catch my feedback as it happens, my reaction. I have a pair of headphones here. These are the Sennheiser HD8 DJ headphones that I recently unboxed. If you haven't seen that video, you should definitely go check it out. And these have a cable that terminates in a mini jack connector, but it has this quarter inch adapter. So I can compare the sound from a standard smartphone as an audio source, and then using this adapter, I can uh, input the uh, smartphone's output into this dark voice and then use this adapter to uh, connect to the front here and see what the improvements are, if any. Now, this is not the ideal listening scenario. You wanna start out with higher fidelity files and a better player if you can. And trust me, I've got more on the way regarding that. But for the purpose of this video and test, we'll just do an A, B, my reactions to some music via the smartphone directly compared with some music that's going through the Dark Voice Tube uh, headphone amplifier. So let's go ahead, get this set up, plug it in, that's important. And then I gotta go find an adapter cable so I can put my mobile player into the standard RCA type uh, audio jacks. Okay, so I have the Dark Voice plugged in now. I managed to track down the uh, adapter cable. So we have a mini jack connector on one end and standard RCAs on the other. This will go into the inputs on the back of this amplifier. I'll just leave it there connected for now because the first thing I wanna do is just use the standard uh, headphone connection right into the iPhone here. Just, just as a comparison, I'll use the same song going straight into the headphones without the amplifier. I'm gonna test that out first. And then second, I'm gonna plug it into the dark voice uh, via this adapter on the front, like I mentioned already. But uh, anyway, so I'm gonna do an A-B comparison and you are going to get to watch it in real time. I guess I can turn this on now. I'm just gonna listen to some audio right now to myself. Unfortunately, you can't hear this. It's playing now. You're gonna watch me just zone out a little bit here. <laughs> okay, so pretty good. These are good headphones, and as I said before, not uh, a particularly difficult headphone to drive. An audio player can drive these headphones. That's why they include this adapter cable. So next, let's take the same track, put this adapter on here, put it into the dark voice, adjust the volume. I have no idea how loud this is gonna be. I'm gonna rewind this exact same song here. And you can see the tubes are starting to glow a little bit. I'm not sure, maybe under the light you can't see it, but uh, you can see some orange light if you come up real close. I'll, I'll give you guys a closer image of that. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so I'm just adjusting the volume a little bit here to get the, the right level, comparative to what I had before. Again, this is not a question of better or worse. This is a, a question of uh, the type of sound that you're looking for, a question of subjectivity, like I said. Okay, so I have, a, I have an immediate way to describe it just based on that little minor listening experiment. Obviously, I haven't tried out my entire inventory of music and it's a really basic, low fidelity song, but there is definitely a difference, an immediate difference to me. The only reason I kept listening is because I just wanted to make sure I wasn't missing anything else. Uh, this sounds a little bit more alive. That's how I would describe it. Meaning there's a little bit more uh, resonance or it feels like there is. I don't know if technically there is. The space that the sound is filling feels a little bit uh, larger, a little bit more uh, live. I don't know if that's the right way to say it. A little bit more live and a little bit less machine sort of produced, if that makes any sense. Now, I was listening to sort of what you would call maybe a, a classic hip hop style beat. And obviously this is gonna vary depending on the type of music that you're into. But with a classic hip hop beat, you're dealing with samples that come from some old school recordings. And as a result, this kind of equipment here gives you a little bit more of that old school vibe in the sound 
similar probably to the type of production equipment that may have been used to originally create that sound. Uh, these things here, these tubes that you're looking at, uh, have, a, have a long storied history in the music world and many, many people prefer the type of sound reproduction that you're gonna get out of an amplifier that does include tubes. Again, I wanna be very clear, it, it depends on how you like to listen to your music. But if you're like me and you feel that sometimes digital music is maybe uh, lacking a little bit in the warmth area, this is a great way to add some warmth for your home listening environment when you know, you're chilling back and you're gonna be listening to a ton of music then it's like, oh, listen, let me go to my listening station. Let me relax, let me sit on the couch, let me plug into the dark voice and really pay attention to the instrumentation, really pay attention to maybe some, some little nuances in the music that you may not pick up on when you're using a crappy little built-in amplifier that exists on your device or even your computer. Computers don't have great built-in amps usually and you know this putting this in the middle of the chain can, can be a great fix for that. But ultimately, the ultimate solution is to come into this device with a high fidelity uh, song, a high fidelity uh, file to begin with, or a high fidelity player, like a, a high-end CD player or a record player or something, come in with a really nice source to begin with and then let this do the rest of the work. That's an awesome sort of setup if you're going for the ultimate. This was a quick test. This is the setup that I have here right now. Another very cool player, actually a couple different cool players are gonna be coming in very shortly and I will hook them up to this dark voice and give you guys some more feedback probably on Twitter and wherever else it is that I communicate with you. So if you're not following me on Twitter, uh, go check me out there. I'm at Unbox Therapy. My links will be down in the description. A link to this dark voice headphone amplifier will also be down in the description, so check that out too. Show some support to Mass Drop. Big thanks to them for hooking this, hooking me up with this. Uh, so far, very exciting stuff. These tubes actually heat up. It's really cool, they're, they're heating the space right now. Um, anyways, some old school tech that is still very cool in the modern day. If you haven't heard music through tubes, you should definitely try it out and see if it's something you're into uh, so far. Really cool. I'm really excited. Gonna go listen to some more music now. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this content, please remember to leave a thumbs up down below, and I will catch you very shortly on the next episode. Later, guys.